You can do it. You can do it. Oh my god. Being go hai do chok. The first thing we did when we got there was to go pick up our rental car, but if you look at my face, you know that we've been waiting for a long time. So we are currently at the mall across from where we are staying and we're trying to find places to eat. And it's so funny because I'm not going to lie, when I walked in here, it kind of reminded me of Korea a little bit. Like one of the, I don't even remember where it was, but that's what it feels like. I don't know. I'm hungry and I'm tired and I just want to eat. So I believe we are now actually at the food court and I am about to Well, I don't know what I'm about to eat, but we're gonna find somewhere to eat and I'm gonna rate my first restaurant slash food place So it seems like a lot of places are actually closing. So I don't know what we're actually doing anymore I am so ready for this So because it took such a long time for us to actually pick up our car this actually concludes day one this is day two, and we're starting off with a complimentary breakfast from the hotel. Is it too healthy for you? Oh, it fell inside, ew. The egg is cold. Oh my god, what did I do? You've been putting on that hat for like the past 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. Well, I got the front part, but I still need to uh, clip the back, and I don't know where I put my clips in. <sighs> this is 20 minutes of struggle, and I have two more out of four. Okay, I'm gonna use another 20 minutes to try to get the other two on, but I honestly don't know if I can. Oh my god, my eyes. Can somebody, like, tell me how to put on berets? This is why I don't wear hats, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> Hopefully with the beret on. All right, so 30 minutes of struggle and this is how my hair looks. And it's supposed to match my entire outfit. Yi Wang Wang. What did you just say? <laughs> say it again to the camera. Yi <laughs> Wang Wang. Don't ask me what that means. Even though it was raining, the weather actually felt really nice. And here we discover our favorite supermarket of the entire trip. This is like a Chinese style supermarket and I'm telling you, they sell a lot of things that the US doesn't seem to have or at least I don't see them right now. So it's very interesting. Dude, if I live here, I could come here like all the time. They also have really good taste in music. <laughs> so we have currently reached the Aberdeen Mall, but and I think it says like it opens at 12 and everything is actually not really opened yet. So I think what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna walk around and see if anything is going to be opened. So we apparently went to the wrong side of the mall earlier, like the part where we were saying nothing is open, that was Aberdeen Square. And the actual mall that we're looking for is Aberdeen Center, which is, they're technically connected, but it's kind of like on the other side and everything here is open and it looks a little, it looks a lot classier. Okay, so we kind of just walked around the mall a little bit and now we're kind of hungry. So we found the food court and I think there might be kids in the back. I'm just gonna scooch it over this way a little bit. But anyways, we went to a food court and we ordered some potato noodles. Sorry, Ali, you're kind of in it because I think I got kids in the background. Yeah, basically that's what we're kind of eating and then we're just gonna walk around some more. So after a like five hour walk in the mall, I've only gotten, I've only bought one item actually and it's like a hair serum oil thing from one of the stores and my mom bought quite some stuff. She got very lucky and she found a lot of like stuff that she likes, so she bought a lot. But now I think we're gonna go to a local Costco to get some stuff and then we're probably gonna just head for dinner. So today is gonna be a little bit of a short day. Okay, so basically we just walked around the mall for a few hours and then we went to Costco. We only bought some hand cream and now we're at Max Noodle House and we're basically just going to eat dinner here. 
So I think after dinner, we're probably most likely just gonna go back to the hotel and chill. I unfortunately can't go swimming, and I even bought new goggles and swimsuits for this. Hopefully I can catch the tail end of this trip. So this is how big it is. See, you see the size? Okay, so we got back to the hotel and Ali actually put this all in nice order, but this is basically all the stuff that we bought at the market earlier today. And they're actually about to go to the gym, the pool, the sauna and everything. And then unfortunately I cannot go today, probably can't even swim tomorrow. But that's not gonna stop me from wearing this new swimsuit that I got. I'm just gonna go sit by the pool and I think I can, I'm not gonna have fun, but I'll probably like listen to music. And I'm probably not gonna bring you guys with me because I don't think I'm supposed to film in there anyways. And plus it's everybody else's privacy. So I'll see you guys when I come back. We have such a nice view from our hotel room. Good morning, this is day, I think, three. If you count the travel day as day one, then this is day three. But I woke up kind of early again, and honestly, I like woke up every two hours last night, but I'm just gonna try to get ready and go get breakfast downstairs. Ta-da! This is the thing I bought at Timu, and I packed everything. My hair is a mess. Now we're ready to get breakfast. Oh my gosh. Hopefully there's gonna be something different today. If not, honestly, I'm down to eat the same thing again. You guys, we are having tart today. I actually got half of each tart because they're actually in halves. So I got one with, one is egg tart and the other is like bacon and cheese or something. And there was like this lady just staring smack at my face. And I'm just having the same tea as yesterday. I'm gonna try the egg tart. So usually when you think egg tart, it's supposed to be like sweet because like the Asian type of egg tart is sweet. But because this is breakfast tart, it's actually salty and I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like it like this. I think I'm just gonna finish breakfast because honestly, it's just gonna be me eating. I think we're heading to the downtown area today. I don't really know, but I'll figure it out later. First stop of day three is another mall. It's Metropolis Mall, which is only three minutes away from where we stay. And honestly, it's not open yet. We have like maybe 10 minutes before the mall actually opens, but we are inside and everything just looks very American, to be honest. Like, what? I want a Stanley Cup. Where are we gonna get a Stanley Cup here? Oh, I thought you were gonna say something saw, else about the Stanley Cup. I saw Muji Shop, the store. Yeah, so it's like, it's very American, but there's also like quite some like Japanese. So I think it's pretty cool. This looks like an ocean. Look, there's a jellyfish over there. This is so pretty. Excuse the odd transition, but I'm here to get some pants. Ali, do you have fi uh, 50 cents? 200. It's good, 221. Okay. I forgot to turn on my mic. <laughs> I forgot to turn on my mic for half of this, so it's gonna be very. So I ended up buying two pairs of leggings, one in blue and one in black after trying a couple of them on. And this bag is really cute because it says Canada on the side. And I'm pretty sure we won't be able to get that in the US. So this is gonna be a really special bag. Hey, I was just looking at that too. I don't know. Ali figured something out. So we said it didn't stand, but it actually stands. Ooh, a big <laughs> So we have, for some reason, arrived at another mall. And right when we walked in, there's actually a supermarket right there. And the food court's to our right. So the second stop after shopping today is um, another mall. Honestly, we're just moving from mall to mall. Again, also because it's raining outside. And basically what I'm having for an early lunch is mango daydream, mango drink, and a bowl of shark fin soup, which is obviously it's imitation shark fin. But yeah, and then we're probably gonna walk around and then depending on the weather, see what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Since it stopped raining, we decided we're gonna head to Gastown to get some souvenirs. 
So we basically just went into the souvenir store right behind me and we couldn't film in there because there was just way too many people and we bought a bunch of just cookies because honestly it's kind of hard to figure out what to buy because there's so many and I'm not sure like what's allowed on the plane but I think souvenir store items are mostly you can put it on the plane I don't really know okay now we're like about to leave because honestly like I want to say it's kind of sketchy there's like just a lot of people and it's very sketchy I don't know I don't know how I feel about it because like the parking lot that we just came out of smells so bad and there's just people everywhere I don't know I personally just don't think it's that cool we are currently going to get dinner we're getting hot pot and it's in a mall actually just 11 minutes from where we're staying it's in Brentwood Center I think okay so we tried to get a table for eight and it's funny because they said we should probably book one week ahead of time for that. So we kind of put ourselves on the wait list and we're actually not that hungry yet. So we're actually going to take the wait and they said it's going to be about one and a half to two hours. Okay, I order soup base. So we're actually going to start ordering. They actually gave us like free food, uh, free appetizer because we've been waiting for about two hours. Amoy, bindi beef hosen. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to film much in here because there's not a lot of place on the table to put a lot of food, so the camera's eventually going to have to go. I'm going to do the ultimate test of whether the meats are fresh. Do you want to do it with me? We're going to be eating this completely raw. I'm gonna dip the sauce. It's just sauce. So it's cold and it doesn't cook. Not that much. 100%. This is super fresh beef. Totally safe to eat raw, like completely raw. Delicious. I know. <laughs> you guys, so we actually also have ice cream. How do you open this? Oh, I was trying to take the top off, but actually there's a little thing here. I thought this was the cap. I'm so stupid. You guys, I am fortunate enough to have a little area in front of the bed to put you guys on a good platform so I can show you all the things that I bought today very briefly because I've sort of already went through this. Two pairs of Lululemon pants. Anyways, we went to this Japanese store. What's it called, Ali? Muji? Yeah, we spent quite some time in there and all I picked up very last minute was an eyelash curler because I broke my other one. And then at Gastown, we basically just went there for souvenirs for family, friends, relatives. Actually, Ali bought this for herself slash for us. I just had one, so I'm not gonna eat another one. The last thing that I bought today basically are very, very cute giant hair clips that honestly I've been wanting for a while. So that concludes today's shopping and day three basically. And I think from here on, we're gonna do a little less shopping. I'm not saying we're gonna stop shopping because we literally live right next to a mall or across a mall. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna go back. I also need to try to find a luggage. If not, you know what, that thing will hold, at least until we get home. Yeah, so keep watching to find out. So hopefully the weather just turns better and then we're gonna do more outdoor activities from here. I will see you guys. I dropped the drinks, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hi, good morning. So this is day, Ali, what's day? Day four, I think, I believe, and we are actually going to be not doing all shopping today and we're actually going to be heading to Victoria. And this is going to be fun because we're going to take a big boat. That's all she really likes to say. I'm happy. Come here. Come show me. Let me show you Ali's outfit today. It's really, really cute. And look at mom's outfit. What's your outfit? I can't show you my outfit. Actually, Ali can show my outfit. This is my outfit. Oh, not the shoes though. I have to change the shoes. We're paying. Bye. Hello. Reservation. Imagine how long it's going to take to get off later. Right. Oh my gosh. It's going to take so long to even get off later. I'm no double water. filming. This is so hard. Yeah. I'm like staring at two screens. This is our ticket. There's more information down there, but I can't show you. I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, 
but people are literally getting off of their cars to like go into the stores to buy stuff. All right, let's take the video of the front. Woo! Whoa. Let's see how this works. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're entering the boat. <laughs> Wow, we've never done this before. Oh, we're, on. we're on the boat! I think we're full and we're like close to actually the end. But it seems like we got here pretty, cause I don't know. I don't know if they have like another lower level, but we're like nearly, we're, I think we're the last car of this row. But we're gonna get off now. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, I need the... Okay, so we are now on the sun deck, which is level seven of this boat. And I had to put on the wind jammer cause I'm afraid you guys can't be able to hear me. We're moving, but we're moving really slowly, so I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> no, it's too windy. I look very ugly. I look disgusting. <laughs> Dude, my hair, <laughs> my skirt keeps lifting up. Good thing oh. I have. Um, good thing I have a skirt under. But... <laughs> this is why I wore a long one. Okay, because this ride is actually going to be like an hour and a half, so eventually we're actually going to go downstairs and eat and just sit for a little bit because I can't be in the wind for an hour and a half. I'm going to get a headache. Dude, does it not make you feel like you're driving the boat? This would be really good for a movie scene right now. I'm like already thinking about it. Okay, we are now actually on the sixth floor and I can't talk that loud because it's actually very, very quiet in here. But I'm not going to lie, it does not feel like a boat or like a ferry at all because you can't feel it moving so hopefully oh they have an arcade so hopefully I won't get seasick I don't think I will because I'm not moving okay there's a lot of food here I don't know if I'm hungry yet but I feel like at one point I am going to eat um two grilled chicken salad uh yes um can we have one more clam chowder I'm still waiting for my prawns I don't know why I'm turning this way because my mic is right here thank you we have fun like uh eh, we can come back for it. Yeah. Hello. Hey <laughs> Oma. Oh, are you not Chinese, right? We are. Are you Hey yeah. Oma. <laughs> have a good one. Thank you. You lot Tala. This is my meal. And this is our view. So the prawns. I usually don't even eat rice. We're passing through some land. Tickets! It's like 41 something per person Canadian dollars. There's actually a lot of people here, but what came with our tickets is basically a map and a flower identifying book. So this is pretty cool. Oh, this angle is ugly, but basically we have arrived at the Butcher Garden at Victoria. It's the first place we went to after we got off the ferry and it's already looking really nice and we're just like out in front right now so I can't wait to see what's inside. So there's one thing I kind of forgot is where there are a lot of plants and flowers is where there are a lot of bugs and bees which is like some of the stuff that I am the most afraid of so because one of them ran into me which is the reason why I remembered. That's one thing I forgot when I came here but hopefully it's gonna be okay and they're not gonna bother me because I will scream. It's so pretty, like we just start at the road and it's so pretty, but it's kind of hard to get videos because there's just a lot of people and kids. So here's a montage of everything that I've captured in the garden. So we're basically just at Land's End Cafe waiting for our ferry that's supposed to leave at 6. And I'm having some ice cream. It's soft serve. It's really, really good. I was not expecting it. Woo! Exiting! Oh, that's where the people are. On that bridge. Yay! We're back! Allie! Driving onto a thing, <laughs> onto a boat. Um, can we get the combo C? Two kabi tang, two bibimbap. Can we also get the uh, yang yang chicken? Yeah. I hope you guys aren't gonna fall off of this little coffee maker because it's the only place I can put you guys where it's tall enough. But basically, we just came back from dinner and we were really, really full when we came back. But 
for some reason after we came back it seems like we can eat again i didn't film this part but we went back to the supermarket before dinner and we basically bought i found this it's like rice jelly with brown sugar syrup i'm not saying that like in the u.s they don't have it but i don't really see i do not actually see this brand the last time i searched for this brand it's actually really really expensive it's like 12 dollars for a two pack whereas i got this for i think three or four canadian dollars here and then not saying we don't have this either we do have this here because i've seen it recently actually just very recently but this is like it's bamboo shoots or something like that. I don't know if we're gonna eat it later, but I'm definitely eating the rice cake after I take a shower. And then of course we bought two more of these that we got the other day because they are so good. Everything tastes better when you're on a trip, so. Yay! Okay, this is like not the best angle. I just took a shower and now I'm like sniffling. You actually have to like do a light preparing. Finally. But I haven't had this brand before, so I don't know how the sugar tastes. Mmm. I just realized there's a knife on the other side of this spoon. This basically concludes day four, and I don't know why I'm sniffling so badly after I took a shower, but um, yeah, dessert and then sleep. See you guys tomorrow.